In this lecture, we'll take a look at the introduction to Secret Manager. So what is Secret Manager? So Secret Manager stores API keys, passwords, certificates, and other sensitive data. It provides convenience while improving security. Secret Manager allows you to store, manage, and access secrets as binary blobs or text strings. With the appropriate permissions, you can view the contents of the secret. Secret Manager works well for storing configuration information such as database passwords, API keys, or TLS certificates needed by an application at runtime. A key management system such as Cloud KMS allows you to manage cryptographic keys and to use them to encrypt or decrypt data. However, you cannot view, extract, or export the key material itself. Similarly, you can use a key management system to encrypt sensitive data before transmitting it or storing it. You can then decrypt the sensitive data before using it. Using a key management system to protect a secret in this way is more complex and less efficient than using Secret Manager. Cloud KMS is designed to handle large encryption workloads such as encrypting rows in a database or encrypting binary data such as images and files. You can use Cloud KMS to perform other cryptographic operations such as signing and verification. So let's take a look at some secret manager concepts. So secret, a secret is a project global object that contains a collection of metadata and secret versions. The metadata can include replication locations, labels and permissions. The secret versions store the actual secret data such as an API key or credential. Version, a secret version stores the actual secret data such as API keys, passwords, or certificates. You can address individual versions of a secret. You cannot modify a version, but you can delete it. And finally, rotation. You can rotate a secret by adding a new secret version to the secret. Any version of a given secret can be accessed as long as that version is enabled. To prevent a secret version from being used, you can disable that version. It is not possible to schedule a secret for automatic rotation. So let's take a look at the free tier limits. So secret manager pricing is based on access secret version operations and active secret versions. As part of the Google Cloud free tier, secret manager provides resources that are free to use up to specific limits. These use usage limits are available both during and after the free trial period. If you're no longer in the free trial period, usage beyond these free, always free limits is charged according to the pricing table. Monthly free usage limits are aggregated across projects by billing account and reset every month. You're billed only for usage past the monthly free usage limits. So the table here shows the number of secret versions, access operations, and rotation notifications that you can use per month for free beyond which you're charged. So let's take a look at the topics that we are going to cover in the demo. So we'll do the following via the console. We'll create a secret and then we'll access the secret. So that's a quick overview of Secret Manager. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.